Following a series of attacks on military barracks and prisons on Sunday, Sierra Leone's government officials have denounced the attacks as a failed coup attempt. According to Information Minister Shenoba and the Chief of the Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Patrick Levahun, who addressed reporters during a news conference on Tuesday, the efforts to overthrow the government were led mostly by bodyguards of former Sierra Leone President Enes Bai Koroma. Officials say that the former president could not be connected to the attacks directly and that investigations are ongoing. On Monday, November 27th, a delegation from the ECOWAS Commission and the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria were received by Sierra Leone President. The chairman of the ECOWAS Commission, Omar Alio Touré, conveyed to President Julius Madabao a message from the leader of the 15 Nations bloc, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. According to him, ECOWAS is ready and committed to assist the people of Sierra Leone, particularly in strengthening their national security and, if necessary, deploying regional elements. The ECOWAS visit, an apparent show of solidarity with the Sierra Leonean government, follows a deadly attack that rocked the capital Freetown on Sunday. According to officials, attackers targeted the central prison, several police stations, freeing about 2,200 detainees and killing over 20 people. 13 military officers and a civilian have been arrested following the incident, with an addition of two dozen people, including five army majors and two captains, being placed on a wanted list.